Hello, dorks. Afternoon. Hello. It's Unchowder. It's time for Dwarf Fortress. Hooray! Look, I I've I made it all glowy now. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I like just finished that a couple seconds ago. I'm kind of happy with it. So now it's just it's just gonna live there and be all glowy. Hooray! Um, yeah. Hi. This is Unchowder. We're gonna play Dwarf Fortress in just a second here. Uh. I have a story. <laughs> I need to recap what happened at the end of last stream because it was kind of a mystery during the middle of the stream and I had to kind of go back into the VOD and piece together what actually happened. Uh, but if you recall, we've been catching beasts. We've been, catch we've, we've been building a menagerie. I'm wanting to catch all sorts of forgotten beasts and toss goblins into a pit with them and have let them have fun, you know? So we've been catching beasts. And... We had some incidents last stream. Uh, incidents plural, both of them with the same beast, in fact. Um, so that's cool. Um, the main incident that I'm thinking of was towards the end of the stream, and it the beast got loose. And I thought it was my fault. I thought it was me being stupid. But after going through the VODs, I'm like 80% sure that it's not my fault. And that's why I have to like stop everything and tell you. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's, I guess that's the novel part of this story, is that it, I don't think it was me. I thought I had just left a door unlocked for some reason, and that a beast got out. Hi! Um, I'm recounting what happened at the end of the last stream. I don't think you were there for it. A beast got loose. And when I first saw the beast out in the open, it was in our gatehouse attacking a guard after having incinerated a clother. And Shooter's innocent. Yes, exactly. It's not my fault. Um, I went back and looked at where the, you know, it's pen and saw unlocked doors. And I was like, what happened? Why are these doors unlocked? How could this have happened? How was I this stupid to just unlock the door for a beast cage? I don't think I did. That's the thing. Oh, thank you. Yes. I just got the lights all set up. I'm, I'm hoping that that's, I'm hoping that's good. Um... But glancing at the VOD, I think what happened was that a ghost paid a friendly visit. Not and not just any ghost. The the go the ghost of a dwarf who died while like the first incident? The the like we had some deaths while we were catching the beast, right? There was like three deaths. And they all sucked. One of them was a child. One was Urvad, um, pretty sure. I don't remember if that was the first or second incident. Anyway, Irvid's dead. Uh, someone died in that first incident, and they their corpse was, like, incinerated right by the bees' cages. They were, like, right there. And one neat thing about ghosts is that a lot of them will just kind of hover around, hover around the area that they died in and haunt that area. You know, that makes sense. Another thing that, that ghosts can do is unlock doors. Just passively, I guess. I think if a ghost passes through a locked door, it just becomes unlocked. And we had so uh, a beast killed a dwarf next, like just outside its pen, and then we caught it, and then the ghost rose, and then I think the ghost unlocked the door of the pen of the beast that killed it, and then the beast got out and killed like four more people. Yeah, very cool. So that is that is probably the most consequential consequential ghost incident I've had in this game. I usually not really cared about ghosts. Oh, ghost popped up, let's make him a slab. We'll put the slab down, ghost is put to rest, whatever. I am now officially afraid of ghosts. <laughs> I am now, I am respecting the ghosts. Anytime someone dies and I'm not going to be able to get their corpse, I'm going to preemptively make them a slab. I'm going to place a slab. And I don't want the ghost to rise at all. If the, if, if the potential for things going wrong is them just freeing beasts into my fortress, then yes, I'm going to be proactive and I'm going to be nice and I'm going to, I'm going to give them all slabs. Holy cow. So yeah. That that's what happened at the end of Last Fortress. Or at Last Stream. Anyway, we're gonna get into it here. Um, 
But I do want to take a moment at the start of the stream just to mention that uh, this is kind of a non non sponsorshipy advertising zone. Uh, you should be getting like the one pre roll, and I'm not doing mid roll ads. I'm not doing sponsorships. I'm not doing any of that junk, and not just because no one's offered, but because I don't want to. Um, but I wanted to say that, so that if you want to support me, then subscribing and liking and all that stuff is good. That's like the best way to do it right now. There'll be other ways later, probably. But just I just wanted you to know. So in, in lieu of me having a real sponsorship message, I want you all to know that today's stream is sponsored by Rain. Thank you, Rain. Yeah. <laughs> and that's as annoying as I'm going to be about it. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get... Yeah, here we are. Here's our menagerie. One out of six pens. Hooray. Did you know that you gave me the ability to upload emotes to your Discord? How did that happen? I did not do that on purpose. How? How? <laughs> no, I did not know that. Um, that's strange. Anyway, I'm going to unpause. Um... I haven't done a ton off stream, but one thing that I did do is uh, we're going to continue digging our beast ways. Um, speaking of capturing beasts and building our menagerie, I'm going to keep going on that. Just going to try to not kill dwarves again, but no promises. Um, so we're going to dig our, our beast ways. Currently go, they link cave one, cave two, and the top of cave three. The top of cave three and the bottom of cave three is so far apart that I'm going to give it its own entrance into our our beast system. So uh, I've, I've designated all this to be dug. You can see it winds its way all the way down. My goodness, it's going to take them a while to dig all this. So that's why I'm going to get them going on it now. Yeah, look at this. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. And it comes down here. And then here's like the actual bottom of cave three. So yeah, uh, we're going to do the same thing here. We'll put a, a gate in here and some doors and some cave traps. And then all of the caves will be linked uh, by the by our beast ways. And we'll start because the, the only beast that we have uh, in our in our area right now, there's one here and there's one here. Doesn't fill anything while in conflict. Um, Caves 1 and 2 are like completely empty right now because of things dying and being caught. So I want to link the bottom and then we can catch them probably and yeah, go from there. Other than that, other things that are happening, um, we have, so in addition to our menagerie, so we're, we're building this, we're putting some bridges up here, they'll get to it eventually. Um, I have two other traps that I'm going to try to test today. I wanted to test them last time, but like no goblin showed up for some reason. Um, I think they got word that we're, we're trying to do some trickery, so we'll see if we can get some goblins to show up today. Uh, but we have our minecart shotgun. As you can see the aftermath of our test here. Uh, it's just a minecart that rolls down a ramp and then hits a wall and then peppers this chamber with a whole bunch of copper menacing spikes. Well, that'll be fun. Um, and then we have the the blender. We have uh, all these minecarts are just going to go in circles real fast and goblins are going to try to get from one end to the other. And we'll see how that does. Um, but yeah, and then, and then the menagerie trap is, you know, we'll have beasts stuck in here. We have... Uh, Ugash here, who is made of fire? A blog, bob, blob of flame. This is a flame blob. So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna let goblins come in here, and we'll, you know, we'll unlock the, the appropriate doors at the time needed, but then there's a pressure plate here that retracts this bridge, drops the goblins in. Fire blob. Hooray! That's the idea. So we'll see, we'll see if we can get any of those, you know, actually give them a, an actual test today. That's the main goal. That's the main goal. Um, and we have, so we, we lost two soldiers last stream because of the aforementioned ghost situation. Um, might be Litast is our new one. 
And then we also need to re we need to replace a a Mark's Dwarf, but I think I'm gonna wait for uh, another migration wave maybe and pull from pull from that. Um, and we're digging tombs, hooray! That's that's a fine thing to be doing. I'm sure we will kill more people. Let's go ahead and place down a bunch of tombs. Totally fine. I know that we have a lot of people running around doing miscellaneous jobs right now. But, you know, that's how it goes. A lot of trash is being taken care of. Our minecarts are finally working without me having to pay attention to them. So all of our trash is just being taken care of now. And hopefully that just continues to be the case forever. Here we go. So yeah, that's where I'm at. How are you? What's going on? Uh, burial and a door. Okay. There we go. That looks that looks good. That looks good. Did we actually bury? We, did we deal with our ghosts? I don't have any slabs made. I'm gonna assume that's fine. No, we don't care about smoothing that. Uh, that's fine. A yak cow. Cancels collect web. Have we collected all our web? We collected all our web. Oh my god. Look at all of our web. <laughs> we have collected web. Uh, and then I'm going to turn this back on then, I guess. Why not? Because I am a rascal, I have uploaded an emote to my Discord. Oh dear. Uh, but I didn't want to be too mean. So I uploaded what I think is a DF sprite. Okay. <laughs> I will... I will deal with you later. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't... But I didn't do anything. <laughs> All I did was integrate Twitch into my Discord and attribute you as the artist of the one emote that we have. That was it. I don't know how that gives you permission to upload. You're not like a moderator or anything. Not oh, weird. Weird. Whatever. Web farm engage. It's weird because I'm not a mod or anything, but maybe because you give me that. Did that, it gives me powers to add emos. That's all I can think of, but why would it do that? Hi, creature. So yeah, here's our web farm. It's just gonna do this for a while. Um, you can see the, the webs stack when they land on the bridge. So we'll just let that go until we have a bunch of webs and then we collect them down here. So let's do that, that's fine. Hopefully it's just a weird thing with my access, not everyone can randomly add emotes, I guess. I, should ask, I guess I should ask if anyone else can. You get the forbidden beast that got loose under control. Well, we killed it. He <laughs> did what I could. Uh, I didn't see it. So it had already killed like three people by the time I saw it. Uh, but the first time I saw it, it was here. Like, uh, this is this is the remains of our Marksdorf who uh, was caught. And then another person died here. Yeah, they're still dealing with all the garbage. This happened like right at the end of the stream. Um, so, yeah, someone got vaporized here because it was a fire spitter. It was just shooting fireballs everywhere. Uh, so I saw it here. It was fighting someone here. There was already a corpse here. And I gave a kill order, and then we chased it down. And then I say, I want to say we fought it here. I want to say it died here. There's a couple other. The other corpses are right here. I think that's what happened. Yeah, and that... And then these are the, the previous corpses. Uh, this one, like this is the, these three here, and this one here. Uh, this is like where the 
the ghost died. Someone died while the goat, the beast was coming up and uh, we had it in here for a little bit. The ghost died around here. It poltergeisted the doors open and then the beast was loose. And because we had this door open, like the beast ways were open because we were going in there to retrieve the other corpse items, the beast just walked right out. Not a Balrog situation, not quite. Could have been worse. We did lose like an Axe Lord, like we and we when we lost Irvad, we lost our scholar. So we lost some significant people in that scuffle. But the fortress itself continues. Uh, yep, we're making coffins, making doors, we're sparring. We are not cheering, but that's fine because that happens. Yeah, okay. Life goes on. Uh, we made some alterations to our tour situation here. But look at the garbage. Look, like, look at the lack of garbage. There's no corpses up here. There's no sp just goblin armor lying around. There's these bolts that are stuck in the fortifications because that's just how fortifications work, I guess. Um, but, like, it's clean up here. I'm so excited about that. Um, I went ahead and I disassembled our, our outdoor farms because they were acting a little buggy. What are you doing? Plant seeds. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm tempted to like open up the the other part. There's really no need to. I'm just gonna leave that alone. We're we're good on food. <laughs> we don't need a whole bunch of food. And then a whole bunch of things are open in odd ways right now. Moments once things constructed. Figurines. Okay, that's fine. You will get figurines. And I told this to not take bins because they ended up just putting the bin in the minecart. And then the mine, like the bin just got shot out and kept all of its spikes in it. So that wasn't helpful. I just want. I just want the, this to not accept bins, even if there are bins in the thing. Uh, football manager, you can see relationships with all the people you interact with and so many journals hate me. Hilarious. Doing something right. Uh, eternally amused at the similarities between these games, just all the mapping, all the relationships and stuff. Like it's literally you're only accepting trap components. Yeah, okay. Like I could make this, I could make this stockpile bigger. Something about the dialogue options I'm picking must piss them off. Yeah, I mean clearly. <laughs> close what do I close well they're still building this in theory maybe someday they'll finish they finished all these bridges do they link all of these these all look linked these are my safety bridges which are kind of awkward but my those are the secure locks to you know make sure ghosts don't open doors The giant Kia is firing, because of course it is. This is your fate now. When we're smoothing, smoothing and preparing bedrooms for our population explosion. I'll just, I'll let that continue until they're done. These are basically ready though. I mean, basically, they are ready. These are just straight up bedrooms now. Mm 
Um, oh, and they're digging. Okay. Ooh. Well, I assume someone got out of here successfully because there's no one just being stuck here. This one ended up a little awkward. Oh, it's going icy. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just make sure the rest of this happens someday. We've got a ways to go. Everything kind of fine right now. We really, I mean, despite all of the nonsense we've been subjecting ourselves to, this is quite a calm fortress right now. The manager has been stung by a honeybee. Oh no. Yeah, see, this is all just gonna grow back. Hmm. Isn't there a way to, I wanna see if you build a road. a bunch of mudstone blocks now. Except not here. Ugh. I have to... Ugh. Fine, whatever. <laughs> that'll, that'll keep our, our soil safe, right? I turned off uh, prop manager, farming manager, in the DF hack stuff. Mostly because the only thing I care to grow right now is dimple cups for for dying, for dying our claw, which where are we? Here we are. Look at all this wool. We have so much wool. You know, killing all sorts of things. Prepared great horn owl stuff. Why did we kill an owl just now? I don't remember killing an owl recently. Okay, whatever. Um, and our bones are probably fine. We have plenty of bones. Support. Recognize this song. What is it? This is... What is this? I mean, you, the, I see, you can see the name, Un, Unwavering Heart. Uh, I, probably a Pokemon one based on the art here. Uh, Momas has imposed a ban. Uh, it's from Pokemon Black. Black and white. I don't know which song. It's just at some point they're just like all all songs. So I don't know re recall specifically where it's from, but Internet says Pokemon Black and White. There's just rings and such everywhere. I almost regret making our fortress so clean and shiny because now whenever people leave garbage around it, it's like super obvious. And it's just, yeah. Did someone die here? That looks like a corpse. I remember someone dying there. Weird. Strange, haven't played much of that game. Wonder if it's also on Smash Bros. Oh, that could be. That could very well be. What are we... 
Oh, <laughs> Akia is getting webbed. Got it. <laughs> I mostly want to give them all time to get our our inventory stuff sorted out. Um, I did. Yeah, our our ammo and weapons are taking up quite a lot of space here. So these are trap components, these are... and this is like everything else. I wonder if trap components should get a different spot. <laughs> these are also finished goods. This is ridiculous. Hmm. My... I did put in a... like this is a constructed floor and this is natural floor, so now they're like just ever so slightly different colors. Well, that was the other reason why losing Irvad sucks, is because he was the only one who knew what he was doing with engraving. Just as I'm trying to engrave. So yeah, we have a dabbling engraver and Allen, who hasn't even tried yet, apparently. You turn, to, you turn into a dabbling engraver when you, like, get one XP. So Allen hasn't done anything. Ugh. A spearmaster and a miner, and our other scholar, Iton. I'm gonna leave him be as I'm gonna leave Iton to be a scholar. And I don't like who else wants to. Uh. We'll leave it out there for now. Uh, but I guess I should I should designate more engraving jobs. Maybe let's do like these halls. Practice in the uh, the factory hallway. Our waterfalls are still doing okay. About like halfway down. I'm surprised that our wool stockpiles don't take bins. Could it take a bin? I don't know. How does that work? This is for rock salt. Furniture stockpile is quite empty. Which is kind of a good thing. Don't have just a bunch of stuff laying around. My, let's go in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna remove just a bit of this and turn it into more wool, which is a refuse. Very specific refuse pile. Um, alpaca, and llama, and sheep. And that's it. And then I'm going to give this. Also, a whole bunch of bins. I'm curious to see if it can take, if you can put it in bins. That would save us a lot of space. If you could just put the raw wool in a bin, that'd be great. What are you doing? Hannah Hyde, excellent. We're striking Zircon. Excellent. Excellent. And we're saving. Now it's summer. Goblins? Is it goblin time? Goblins. We like chant goblins. You know the goblin song? Probably not whatever you're referring to. If there is an if there is a goblin song. Check that all of this is working correctly. Seems to be. 
We get goblins, it'll be any second now. Rough clear zircons, cool. Come on here, I'll just follow you. You're going to dig? Cool. Oh, now you're gonna go smooth, okay. do the the corner first like just <laughs> whatever it doesn't matter but why do you do it that way and we're gonna have to give everyone a moment to come in here and grab all the fancy rocks they find and all the yeah okay uh, no that's not what i wanted all the gems and stuff I've placed it into my media thread, cool. By Necrogoblicon. It's a good name. No, I don't know this song. We'll have to listen I'll have to listen to it later. We still got another look, look at this. We're like halfway there. Very odd. Cool. Sounds good to me. Addictive but odd. I mean, that's my style. Um, so yeah, spin thread, weave thread into silk has been completed. So they're they're working on weaving all that collected web, all of our collected forgotten beast silk, into silk cloth. Um, and if memory serves, they're just gonna do that until they run out of thread. Uh, weave silk into cloth. Yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna keep going. Cause like the only other thing we care about is you know our hospital. But our hospital should be fine. Yeah, our, our hospital is fine. Oh, are we running low on soap? I haven't thought about soap in a while. Fires. Yeah, we have. We have soap. Is that all in? All of it in our, yeah, it's probably all here. So we probably want to be making more just in case. Uh, jugs, floodgates, coffins, locks, coffers, cabinets, slabs, steel stuff, cheese. We just straight up stopped milking our animals too. If we wanted more food, we could just start milking our animals again. We have infinite cheese. I don't even think we're like collecting. Are we, col are we, yeah, we must be making mead. Any containing items, press honey from honeycomb, liquid container. Oh, we probably, yeah. We probably ran out of rock for making jugs. I saw jug. Ink rock jug. Yeah. We just we don't need that many. Infinite cheese, go on. I mean, how else do you make a bunch of doors happy? Uh what am I looking for? I am looking for soap. Yeah, so soap from tallow. Lie containing items. How does lie work? I would have to. It's always strange. Cause we may we ended up with like way too much lie. Yeah, there's some lie. There's some lie. There's we still have lie. We still have lie. What are you on about? I Need mean five lie containing items.
Why? So we have Ash. Hmm. Let's go to liquids. <laughs> Water. Okay. Yeah, we have we have a bunch of lime. And beast extract. Whatever that means. Would you like to join my quest to make Mickey the gender neutral of milkman instead of milk person? Milky? <laughs> I like it. Like just calling a person a milky. Hope you have milkman over there, else that's weird. I mean, we we used to. We do, milkman is not really a thing over here. It's the milky bin. <laughs> Honey, have you seen the Milky today? I like it. If I had a Milky, I'd call it a Milky. I got these milk bottles from the Milky. <laughs> yeah, we don't... Hey, look, here we go. An enormous three-eyed scorpion. Perfect. Large mandibles, squirms and fidgets, eyes glow fuchsia, crimson exoskeleton is rough and cracked, but wait, it's poisonous sting. It's a... Crimson three-eyed scorpion with Yusha glowing eyes. Yes, I must have you. Where are you? You're in cave one. Okay, so for the moment, you're alone in cave one. Hooray! And Zazit wants to withdraw from society. That's fine. Um, it is just going to come in here and immediately die. <laughs> Goodbye, Agas. Uh, rodent men. Wow. There aren't even that many rodent men here. At least that we know of. Maybe that's the thing. Are they all invisible to us? There's just a million invisible rodent men in here. It was fighting three just now. Strikes at the rodent men's spearmen, but the shot is blocked by an iron spear or iron shield. Wow. Wow. Forgotten Beast takes the rodent man spearmen down by the third finger. <laughs> uh, rodent man spearmen scratches the forgotten beast in the leg. Yup. Yup, yup. It just got... it. Wow. It was quite the battle. It lost, though. Someone has a steel shield. There's a rodent person with a steel shield in here. And we can't even see them. I wonder how many... Do you think there's a, like, a bunch of rodent people in here? But we don't see any the fish people all all again yeah exactly i'm wondering if there's a hundred in here and i don't even know it because none of them are visible to me like they're not they're not pets or livestock Definitely not citizens. I'm really curious about this cave. <laughs> Look at all the... There's so many beast corpses in here, too. There's one. There's one. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's one there, there, there. Wow. Yeah, there's like five corpses in here. Seen as I have a Warhammer Lizardman army, oh boy, do I hate Skaven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were playing, uh... There's a bunch of water here, isn't there? Oh, interesting, my drain is clogging with trees. Hmm. That could eventually be a problem, couldn't it? 
You're fine, aren't you, Abiq? You'll be fine forever. Uh, but yeah, we have our, our waterfall drain. Drains to right here. Where's the actual... Yeah, okay, so this, the stairs here, and then there's some fortifications here, and then this is the cave. So these trees are preventing the water from draining and evaporating. Uh, Skaven. We were talking about Skaven. Um, we were playing uh, Vermintide with a friend for a while. And yeah, I know all about the Skaven. They're great. <laughs> uh, human caravan, hooray! Request. Moo goods! Not gonna have much for us, but that's fine. We can't trade our figurines, my god. They're the worst. I I like their style. I like them. I mean, like they're they're baddies, obviously, but they're cool baddies. All this stuff is still just sitting here, people. I would like I would like these to be done. What are you all working on, if not the things I've asked you to do? Fluttering puppies, clearly. Should I just... I mean, let's do this. Let's go into our... We, I haven't been gelding the pets. I've just been slaughtering the extras. Uh, let's do, like, mules. Uh, rams. Yeah. Ram... Hats can be gilded. The llamas I want to keep going. Dog and kiwis. Alpaca. Dog, donkey. 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 Yak. Kitten. Puppy. All these, all these babies! Holy cow! Look at all, look at all them. Donkey full. What I do find funny about Warhammer is which factions ended up fighting to preserve the world versus destroy it during the apocalypse end times thing they did. Yeah, totally. Some evil factions like, whoa, now hold on, don't. I was too invested in my evil. You can't destroy my, my world. I was too busy being evil over here. Kitten, puppy. Yeah, okay. Maybe that'll maybe that'll slow things down a little bit. We don't need to be arming dogs at this point. Um I'm gonna continue to ask for wood. The less we chop here the better. And the rest I I don't care. Are you... you're still not getting loaded. There's just pants everywhere. If I remember correctly, the Skaven were very much on the watch the world bend of world... Watch the world burn end of it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what Vermintide was. Like the... Uh, like the apocalypse was the rats take over. The rats get what they want. And bad for everyone else. Tomb King skeleton army things were very much no stop my precious kingdom of dead things. Yeah, I can believe that. Oh, this road got built. Okay, that's good at least. And yeah, I'm th I'm tempted to drain this and uh, I mean yeah, fiddling with farm stuff. But why am I fiddling with farm stuff? Um, we're still. Still digging this, right? Someone? Trying. Hydrate. 
wonderful people of the interwebs. Hope you all have a fantastic time. Off to sleep I go. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, have a good night. Water good. Yeah, it's gonna take them a minute to dig all that, aren't they? I'm also curious why some... Some of our butcher garbage does end up up here every once in a while. Which well, is obviously a very inefficient trip for a dwarf to make down to get up here from the kitchen. And I think it's just a matter of... Uh, like, you know, this stockpile will be full, but someone wants to take a garbage job, so they look for the nearest refuse pile, and it's on the surface. They, they're not going to be like, oh, that's too far, I'm going to wait for this to empty. They're just going to take it up. Which is ultimately fine. Some wool is getting put down here. I want, I want bins. I want it all to go in bins, please. Too much space. And this is like our, this is like our junk stone. This is our everything that's not being used intentional pile. So the fact that it's draining <laughs> this is interesting. We made a whole bunch of mudstone blocks. Migrants! Ooh, 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 ooh. What have you brought for me? High Master Carpenter, Expert Animal Caretaker. Did you hear the one about the Forgotten Beasts and the Sea Lampreys? No, I haven't, As Asin. Do you want to tell me about it? Uh, okay. So you're cool. And then we got a Novice Carpenter and a Novice Cook. It's a great one. We all get a chance to be married together. Absolutely. Is it just the two of you? Oh, here we go. How can society function without loyalty? We must be able to have faith in each other. Totally. Uh, which one of you is going to be good for the military? Uh, skills. Combat. Novice. Everything. Skills. Combat. Nothing. Skills. Combat. Nothing. Okay. I see. Let's see if we get any more here. Might just be the three of them, but that's fine. If you are a novice at some things, I think that means you are now a guard. Asin. Asin. Asin? I don't know how you, I don't know how you pronounce that. Whatever. To do without all those creatures and that tangled greenery. Well, guess what? We have creatures and tangled greenery. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in the military. You're gonna be out here in the greenery looking for creatures at all times. Enjoy. Uh, what is happening here? The ram and the bookkeeper. The ram attacks the bookkeeper. Oh, was this? Hmm. Someone was trying to. Yeah. I think these are animals fighting back from trying to be uh, gelded. Dungeon master. Stray dog scratches the dungeoneer in the throat. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Uh, and there's 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 garbage people. Look at all this stuff. Oh my God. Um, things are happening. Carpenter cancels pickup equipment. Horrified. Uh, so you grabbed a clothier shop. Are you? You're not. You, oh, cut gems. Oh. 
that what you're needing? You... Stacked cloth, skeletons, rough gems, cut gems, a forest, stacked leather, stacked cloth. You want a lot of things, don't you? Do we have cut gems? That's my question. Rough, rough. Hey, look, another forgotten beast. Uh, before. Yeah, we have cut gems. Hmm. Cut gems. A bunch. Rough gems. A bunch. We have. Stacks of cloth. Well, we have stacks of... We have stacks of cloth. Unless you want plant cloth specifically. Oh, is that what you want? So you haven't grabbed anything. Hmm. Okay. Rotten Beast, Dearlu Gulshibusiga, Enormous Eyeless Taper, Large Mandibles, and it is slavering. Amethyst hair is long and straight. This is in Cave 2. Okay. So you should just be on your own in here. Cool. Welcome, Dearlu. Uh, do you have any kills? You don't have any kills coming in. That's a pretty good sprite, though. Very cool. Okay, I think we'll... We're likely still digging down here. Yeah, it's gonna take him a moment, too. Jeez, okay. I might try to catch that one... Like, now. Before something just, you know, kills it. Don't want anyone coming down here like that. At least you brought a wheelbarrow. Just that. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, cancel. Okay, and you got out, right? You... Oh, but you left the wheelbarrow? Jerk. Those are important. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna come down here to... this, and we'll go... and this to a blueprint so that no one tries to come down at the moment. Another wheelbarrow. People. Okay. So I'm just I'm just checking to make sure there aren't any dwarves in here. Like that. Because you're gonna go grab a wheelbarrow. Urge the rodent people. That'd be that'd be good a good idea. Probably really difficult though. <laughs> With our our small military. I'm imagining if there's if they're in there in numbers, there's gonna be like a hundred of them. They're all going to be hidden from us until, like, they pop out from a corner. Oh, there's a cat, too. 
Can't keep the cats out of the beastways. Are you okay? Seriously injured. Well, that's not a good sign. Need a giant serpent foretold via a comet to eat them. <laughs> I'll get right on that. That seems fine. What was that other wheelbarrow? I'm just gonna I'm gonna forbid this one too. This all seems fine. The cat is probably not going to get out in time. I'm not going to wait for it to just randomly path out, unfortunately. Okay. This all seems fine. I am going to say we close this door. And then we close this door. Catch ourselves a beast here. Yeah, getting all these no quality engravings on the ground here. Um, but you, you are gonna be a problem. So you haven't even managed to grab anything. Hello, hello! Very Sotek, yes. Um, this dwarf is saying they need skeletons for their strange mood. I don't know if that's just like its way of saying bones. Or if it needs like actual skeleton bits. of skeletons yeah I think that's just yeah it just needs bones not actual like skeletons so then what the heck are you needing here it used to be like you click on it and the first one it says is the one that they're stuck on, but it's just different every time I click on it. We have cut gems, we have rough gems, we have leather, we have leather, we have bones. Could be needing plant cloth specifically. Maybe that's maybe that's what it is. We have silk and wool. There is a little bit of pigtail. Oh, but it's in the the hospital. Uh huh. Okay. Frankwood just jumped on my lap, but then stuck his back legs onto the desk and then pushed me back from the desk. <laughs> Human! No more computer! Uh, I want red. Red. We obviously have wool and silk thread. Giant wolf hair thread. Giant stoat hair thread. One pigtail thread. Okay. Uh, and then what if I... Oh, we need to trade, too. Plants. We have a bunch of pigtails. Okay, so I just need to just make... Just a handful of cloth. Plant cloth. Um... Which is a... 
process plans job. Go here, add process plants. You're not linked to anything. All the pigtails here, because we're using it for paper. Uh, back in the day, I tried to make the Lizardman variant army that was all skinks and Sotek. Excellent. Convert some very garbage banners. Out of blow pipes. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, if you have them, or yeah, you should totally put them in the Discord. You should have all sorts of images of minis in, in my Discord. Okay, um, let me remind myself, I wanted to make some plant cloth, which is a thing that we haven't been doing because it's silly. Farmed and used to produce cloth, each, yeah. Processed at a farmer's workshop before being brought to the loom. Yeah, okay. So I think, not the chick. Um, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna link this to here. And I'm gonna say, just, we're gonna do that a couple times. Also urgently. That said, I was very cathartic to play Total War Hammer and actually get used to the army, yeah. We should play more of that, too. Um, oh, trading. Let's trade. Great. Some gems, hooray. Uh, you got a bunch of logs. Not much else. Uh, sand, flower, figurine. Cheese, cauldron, parchment. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you're gonna get one bin of something without <laughs> without the figurines in it. Hope you enjoy. Look at all this. I'm gonna have to start putting my figurines in a different stockpile. Great. Good. Okay. Proceed. I'll keep an eye on this. Yeah, pigtail. Into thread, please. thought of it like the old days, the half hour loading screen was just getting out and putting away my army. <laughs> and then I'm gonna... We need a make cloth. No. Thread into cloth, yes. We'll see if they can find anything to do that with. Tail threat. Okay. You can keep doing that for just a minute. And then you. Oh, are you good? Grabbed something. Okay. Cool. I think we, we unstuck our, our person. They just needed a single plant cloth. Not wool, not silk. Pigtail. That's important. That might be why the other person went went mad as well.
You good? You've begun! A mysterious construction. Perfect. Okay, well then I'm gonna remove the other bits. We're good. Thank you. We now have a little bit of pigtail. What is this playlist? It's the same playlist. Is this RuneScape? I have no idea. Sea Shanty 2. Yeah, this is RuneScape. <laughs> it's huge. It's like a 40 hour playlist. I don't know everything that's in here. Okay, so there's a bin. I'm wondering if they can put wool into bin. I'm guessing not. Okay. Durlu is fighting pawn grabbers. Thank you for keeping the population in check. Seven pawn grabbers. Okay. So I'm gonna do a double check to make sure that our beast ways are secure. This is all fine. There's still, still remains of struggles, uh, but this is all fine. That's all fine. And we're going to have to open these for the flow to actually work, but that's also fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And there's not... Not anyone hiding in here, right? Zazit has made a pigtail skirt. Excellent. Excellent. Definitely needed to be pigtail and not like forgotten bee silk or anything like that. Oh, there's the cat. Should I let you out? Do you want out or in? You can if you can get out. If you can get out. You can get out. I link to the playlist, of course. If you just look for game chops, uh, it'll it'll come up. But I can definitely link it. No, other way. The door's open. The door's open. Cat. Cat. Well. Bye, cat. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, whenever I try to play game chops, I only find really short ones. Hmm. Interesting. So that got pulled. There's a cat down there. Sure will act as incentive for our beast here. Um, there's no one else just wandering around down here, I hope. Let's cave three, and then yeah. Should be fine. So meandering. I'll be happy when these are like settled and I can just leave them closed forever. Okay. So here's this is cave two, right? Cave two. There's a beast right there. We're gonna open this. We'll see if it immediately lunges for it. I haven't opened up the top yet. Curious to see what it does, though. Oh. Probably senses a cat. Yeah. That's my guess. And it's probably going up. Okay. Um, and I'm even going to lock the door behind it. And we'll raise the bridge. And then... Terrarium? Yeah, that seems right. Ter terrarium. Terrarium? This is my terrarium right here. 
Uh, let's do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lower this so that I can actually get into one of our cells. This will be raised. I'm gonna do like like unlock this pair. So it's it's gonna want to come up from the bottom. And then these these will be lowered so it can just come across and it's gonna go through. And it's gonna want to come up. Also, I need to close this one. Of course. And then also open this one. And then yeah, now we go check out our friend. Duralu's gonna get a cat. Pretty sure is what's happening here. I done, I'm just I'm double checking that I didn't leave anything open because I'm so paranoid now. Yeah. Do you want out now? Blissful after becoming a parent. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but. It's, I think it's too late. I mean, I could try to close this. If that door closes before it gets you, I will let you out. But if you go back in, there's nothing I can do for you. Well, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. It's called Terraria, yeah. Uh, we're, we're, we're here. Okay, so now, uh, God, poor Monom. The rest of this should be fine. Right, cause that's closed, that's closed. These are open. It's gonna want to come up and across and up, this is closed, and that's open. Okay. I think we have everything configured correctly. Doesn't feel anything after experiencing trauma. You ate a cat. That's not trauma. That's murder. Okay, well, it's, it's coming. Okay. And then do you... Yes! Yes! Hot! What do you think of that, dear Lou? Welcome to your new home. I hope you enjoyed the cat. You're gonna be feasting on nothing but goblins from now on. It's it's very agitated. It does not like being here. <laughs> uh, but now I can rename you. You are now Nagery Three. Your neighbors with Ugash here. Perfect. He ate a cat. He ate a cat! He just ate a cat! <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull our safety levers for three and four. Just all the garbage everywhere! Um, and that'll make me feel safe from all of our ghost friends. Yeah. So now they're now they're locked in. They are they are in there. Those bridges. Ghosts can't do anything to bridges. They can do things to levers, but not bridges directly. I don't think. Um. But that means now I can just come back down here and reopen this. I'm just gonna reopen it from this side. Oh. Um, and unlock that door. And now they should be able to go in and keep digging until another beast shows up. Hooray! Here's where that other... <laughs> looking for the, uh, the wheelbarrow. 
Bills are important. Wheelbarrow. There we go. Um, oh, I also want to place our artifact. That was a nice one, right? Uh, a pigtail skirt. Uh, so that's going to be leg wear. Big tail skirt. There you are. What is it? Other than fancy. Treaty floor, the lucid dawn. Decorated with pigtail, encircled with bands of round brown jasper cabochons and donkey leather made from pigtail cloth. Menaces with spikes of llama bone, dendritic agate, and birch. On the item is an image of Babok paper tapers. Paper tapers? The dwarf and llama bone. On the image is an image of Macedonia trees. Okay. Cool. Uh, yep. Cat was fighting, I know. Giant key is caught in a web. We're making <laughs> making cloth. How are we doing on on cloth here or silk here? <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, all on all of our our tombs got placed. Perfect. And since these all have doors, I can just do this. Perfect. We're we're smoothing. We're smoothing all of our new all of our new bedrooms for all the new friends we're gonna make. I do wish we had some goblins coming though. I didn't figure out the soap thing either. Um I mostly just don't want that to become a problem at the exact wrong moment. Probably need more water in our waterfalls as well. Yeah, I don't think you can put wool in a bin. Our last, this bridge. I don't know why this isn't taking, this isn't going either. Smoothing, detailing, eating, storing, storing. Lots of storing jobs. Uh, planting, milling, yeah. Rendering fat. Most of our jobs are with all of our our wool and our silk at this point. Is that overkill? Maybe. I don't know. I've never had a surplus of clothing before. That's that's new to me. <laughs> we could see um like if not using auto clothing. We can have it tell us when invoked without parameters shows a summary of all managed clothing orders and the overall clothing situation. Okay. Uh, clothes currently disabled. We have available body wear for a hundred dwarves, footwear for three hundred dwarves, headwear for a hundred. So like, we have clothing. We're fine on clothing for the moment. Never had that happen. No one should have any thought, bad thoughts about tattered clothing. Look, you have you have a uh, a worn leather tunic. But you're also wearing a vest on top of it, so whatever. I don't know why the lie thing is being weird.
This is oh, there's there's soap there. Not a ton. Like if I went here and said make make soap from tallow, could you could you figure that out? You can see that we have lie. I'll just I'm just gonna add like five jobs here. That's probably gonna be fine. We go through soap so slowly. I'm surprised to not see goblins yet. We've gone like a full year in game without without any goblins. This stuff just sitting here. In our, our bulging stockpiles of food. Um, let's see. Yeah, the my little my my arrow trick doesn't work. Not that we need to be saving arrows. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see a Look at this! Ghostly Spearmaster. See, I didn't even get an alert. Some of these ghosts, they're just kind of around. I wonder if we can, like... I'm curious if we can see it happen. And then what happens? Do you just disappear? I don't know if you're still here. That's so weird. Feels pre pleasure remembering a sparring session, yeah. See, now, okay, maybe someone needs to see it. Interesting. So if no one sees a ghost, I don't get told about it? Is that how that works? Uh, so we need to we need to engrave a slab to Mebzip. As one of our soldiers. And you, and now you're here. So they just, they just hop around. You're just gonna hang out in the kitchen, huh? That's cool. <laughs> Yep, there's like apparently a whole bunch of different kinds of ghosts. Depending on like how they died and the personality type of the person before they died. Influences the kinds of things that their ghost can do to your fortress and your citizens. And where are you now? And all these... we don't need all these chicks. Are we not harvesting the eggs out of here? We just have a bunch of chicks now. <laughs> you make the thing, you made the thing. So now let's go place the thing. There you are. Please do that. 
before something terrible happens. Spinner's cancelled makes soap needs to lie containing item. So weird. Chicks have passed. I noticed! Come on! That's... This one's important, people. Uh, I don't really need to smooth that one. Getting there. Look at all this. Wow, look at all that. Okay, we're going to start furnishing our bedrooms here. If the goblins don't want to show up to make our jobs hard for us, I'm just gonna have to shove a whole bunch of dwarves in here and make it a tasty snack for some of them. Look at all this. It's all smooth. Okay. Yeah. I'm for furniture. But first, someone please place the slab for real. Is it you? <laughs> well, the ghost was right there for a second. Excellent. So, ghost been put to rest. Okay. I'm um, curious. Still, still working on digging, in theory, if they're actually working on it. Oh, I need to, I need to tell them to actually restart, don't I? There you go. It's all four. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You should be able to get in there. Yeah. I want someone to take care of the cat, please. And then bedrooms. We're just going to make a whole bunch of fully furnished, smooth bedrooms. Look at all this. This is ridiculous. Uh, I've never done... never done it quite like this, have I? Just all at once. We're gonna... I'm straight up just gonna double our population cap all at once, and we're gonna see what happens. Hey, we're saving! Goblins? Goblins for the autumn. There we go. There's a couple doors missing, right? Door. Door. You need doors. And then a whole bunch more cabinets and such.
we might need to like quarry stone just to make furniture. Never been in that situation before. And chests. Look at all that, and now they're just gonna start plugging away. I'm even just gonna designate them as bedrooms. bedrooms. I'm also going to hold off on giving them more smoothing jobs for the moment, just because they've had plenty. Uh, I might, I'm going to put a wall here, just for the sake of it. Rock salt. All good. A spiked copper ball has been misplaced. No doubt Udib Ghostly Herbalist is to blame. No doubt. Um Yeah, so we're we're getting ghosts, and I definitely want to keep stay on top of the ghosts. These all these are all just just filled with blocks. Uh, and that is Udib Ghost. Quickly. I don't think I can just, like, search by ghost, right? Like, it tells me who is a ghost. They're not in here in any... Uh, that was not what I meant to do. not in here like an order. I guess it's alphabetical. You just have to like manually look. I don't even know if it's going to show them until they've been discovered. And that was a bunch of... okay. Yeah, who knows? And also that. Why? 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 What was I? Yeah, who did? There we go. Continue. There we go. All good there, at least. And then, in theory, our carpenter wants to make a bunch of beds now. Maybe I don't have an actual recurring bed job. I thought I did. I thought I just added one. Maybe not. I don't want to overuse our wood on beds for sure. But I do want to make a couple now. So let's do make bed.
I'm just going to do batches of five. So long as beds is less than five, logs is greater than ten. That should be fine. And the rest of these, yeah, cabinets are happening. Offers are going to happen. At least they should. Dwarves have arrived! At some point, these finished good bins are just gonna have nothing but uh, figurines in them. Yeah, look at this. Ugh. It works. Still looking to reload our. Our shotgun too. This just isn't. This isn't happening. You're hmm. linked. You're accepting. I didn't change anything from it from before. Yes. Continue bringing me wood. There's literally nothing in here. How weird. And it is construction, of course you have. It's just you don't no one needs to be in here. <laughs> um what about this? This is still waiting. Hmm. You settle down? You doing okay in here? Who did put to rest? Good. Yep, we're making stuff. We're making stuff. Wanting me to make figurines? Sure. You can have some figurines. That's all fine. Um, and you are slowly getting better. You are a legendary miner and stone crafter. Dabbling engraver, okay. You'll get there eventually. Like you're you're hauling a dimple die bag to to the dyer. Yeah. Dimple die should be stored over here, shouldn't it? Where does it get stored? Oh people, put those in crew. In the barrels! In the barrels. Use... Use the barrels. <laughs> they fill up that whole thing because they don't want to use the barrels. I'm going to be upset. Um... Okay, so where does... Where is Dimple Die going? Milled plant. It's so milled. Milled. So dimple dye. Okay. So dimple dye is intermingled in our food stockpile. That's that's a thing to fix. Um, this is what this is bins and blocks. Let's do this. Let's move this one up a little bit. And then a new stockpile right here. For dye, specifically. Hello, hello! Hello! 
But if they put stuff in the barrels, there won't be room for the barrels to put the stuff in. You're, you're not wrong. If they they can gridlock themselves in there, they can they can fill an entire stockpile with lungs on the ground, and then they're gonna go, oh, we should collapse all this into barrels, and then go, oh, well, there's nowhere to put a barrel in there. Guess I won't. Ah. <laughs> uh. Also, hi. I've seen you around. And obviously in Fiona's server. Uh, yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, what, what was I doing? I am making... I am making a stockpile for dye, which is food, because it's made from food. Uh, dimple dye, yeah. And that's the only color of dye we're making, because I don't have access to the other plants. And then this should also not take Temple Dye. There we go. Yeah, look at this. That's stupid. Stop it. <laughs> we have... We have barrels? We have barrels. You can just go grab a barrel. Uh, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Especially as we take the dye out. I think we have... There should be like a bunch of dye in there. Maybe, well, maybe. We've been using it as we go. Uh, powder. We have five dimple dye. Yeah, we're not really using it that fast. Mostly, mostly flour. Mostly 3,000 whip fine flour. Which I'm not complaining about because it's worth a lot of money, but you know. Don't need to keep growing it. Um. Yeah. Now. Where, where are you taking? You are hauling dimple dye. Okay. We are doing it to dye cloth. You are storing a mug. I want to see someone grab it from the millstone and take it to its new spot. What are you doing? Storing... You're storing dimple cups. You are milling... stuff. You're milling dimple cups. And you're just gonna take off afterwards, right? Yeah. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, there's still just so much... There's still so much junk. Why aren't they... Why aren't you filling the trash? Please fill the trash. Uh, I'm gonna refill our waterfalls. The thing I can do. Oh. Um, I'm even gonna grab water for myself, really quick, if it goes so fast. Probably enough. More more scared of overflowing than running out of water. There we go. Then hopefully we aren't murdering anyone. This seems fine. Definitely plenty of water in there now. Just making sure we don't have, like, a solid column of water <laughs> in our waterfall spots. Seems like we did okay.
I want to... There's more things I want to learn about this game. Um, like in like in that kind of a situation, I want to know like like there's an there's some amount of time that I want that gate to be open, right? It's probably just gonna be like a static amount of time. It's gonna be the same amount of time each time because I want to put a set amount of water into the system. And surely there is a way with you know fancy dwarf computerizing that makes some sort of a mechanical clock. But I can say, like, you know, pull a lever, and that opens the gates, but then also starts a timer, and then the timer has some sort of, um, you know, set amount of time that it goes through, and then it pushes the lever at the end, and then it recloses it. You know what I mean? I think there's ways to do things like that. And I th think that would be a cool thing to learn. I don't have a lot of reasons why I would need to. Oh, we're, we're trading. Trading. Wood. Barrels, why not? Spares us some wood. Uh, bags, bags are good. I wonder if we need any bags. But we can make bags out of all of our, like, forgotten beast silk, so I'll be fine. I uh, don't need thread. Books! Give me books. Give me books. Um, and then this just doesn't have any... Or no, we don't have a mandate to not sell figurines right now. Excellent. Of course, that means I need to sell all the figurines. <laughs> there we go. And hope that we don't end up with a... A mandate to not sell them before they leave the map. Because that's a thing that can happen. Uh, also, where are we at here? Yeah, look, we already have a whole bunch more silk. I'm going to say that that's probably fine. I'm not even going to harvest it right now. It's just going to be there waiting for us to need it. And I'll turn off this. And then there we go. Yeah, uh, web farm has been turned off. That part is working. I'm very happy with that part. Look at all these bedrooms. Look at all these bedrooms. I'm just gonna go ahead and up our caps right now. So that things start happening. Uh, was it difficulty? Yeah. So all the, the triggers are the same, so you can see, like, we've, you know, there's enemy population trigger. Yeah, I don't know. I forget how all these work. But the game is reacting to how big our fortress is. So the fact that I've limited how big our fortress can get, uh, has had some impacts on what has happened. Um... Our, our cap is here. Yeah, population cap. I'm going to turn our population cap into 100. Strict cap will be 120. Baby and child will be 20. And the rest of this... Should be fine. Total seed cap. Yeah, whatever. Um, and I know that I did some changes with these, but I'm not sure I remember. Mega Beast attack period seasons. Forgotten Beast sensitivity. Definitely don't understand all these. Invasion cap. I want to say I changed some of these. There's attack one, attack two, attack three plus. Minimum raids before first siege. Minimum raids between sieges. Siege frequency. Tavern dweller scale, increase per attack. 
Tavern Dweller Maximum Attackers. I'm gonna leave all those the same for now. We feel like we really need more goblins. We can we can get more goblins, I think. But maybe we'll get a nice big migrant wave now. They can come and eat all our food. MoMA has mandated, of course. Press plates, of course. And of course, I'm going to probably make our military bigger. So making more actual good armor is not a bad idea. How's our beast ways doing? Still digging. If they indeed are. We haven't made any progress. Kind of locked them in or anything, right? Or out, I guess. That's all fine. That's all fine. And that's all open. Hmm. In theory, they can get down there. You're harvesting some berries. Cool. Why are the things not being done? Hmm. I mean, this all is looking productive. You're not doing anything. You are milling plants. Are you? What? You're storing a bauxite mug, but why here? Oh no, now you're milling plants. Because there should be mugs in here, right? Yeah. There's mugs in the kitchen, guys. Um, oh look, we're, and we're engraving. Very nice. Our... Legendary Spear Dwarf values tranquility. Um, I'm gonna give them a couple more places to, to engrave. Realistically, they can just engrave all of this and be fine. That's that'll be good practice. Engrave the the production always okay clearly everything is working just maybe not like this doesn't need to keep going Let's stop that for now. Again, our food situation. We have... We have food. We have food. Like, even just looking at prepared meals. We have 1,300 prepared meals. A stack of 50 llama tallow roast. Yeah, we have... We have food. So we're, what are we doing? We're, we're making dimple die and our, like we're getting through them as well is my understanding. Like it were, you know, we must have just harvested, but now they're gonna come and grind all that and then use that for dyeing clothing or for cloth. We might be okay on the cloth itself. Now that things are, you know, working and kind of caught up. Let's see. 
find where weave yarn into cloth. So we're making wool cloth. Let's have this check against wool. Mm, I don't want type. Wool, hair wool items. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. So, amount of wool cloth less than like a thousand? Jeez. Okay, yeah. Let's say, let's, let's cap ourselves at a thousand wool cloth. <laughs> That's probably fine, right? Um, so they'll, they'll stop making cloth. Or yarn cloth, at least. Um, and then let's come down to our silk one. Weave thread into silk. That will check against silk items. And again, we'll, we'll have a thousand silk cloth. And that we need to keep working on to, to reach up to that. But that means we'll stop making yarn, we'll keep making sil uh, silk, and then they'll just maintain those levels. And then someone is dyeing cloth, and that's just cloth in general. So as long as we have dyeable cloth and dye items, which I think the dye items is the thing that we're bottlenecked on, but that's fine. Because if I come in here and I look for dye, for, for powders, powder, yeah, we have exactly five dimple dye, okay. So we're using the dye as we're making it. Um, and we're, we're milling. Until we have 500 dimple dye items, which we do not have, but we do have the stuff to work on it, so that's fine. We're spinning thread, and like that probably won't, yeah, that's just gonna keep going. Is that what I want? Do I want them to just make thread forever? I mean, at some point, I want to stop. Harvesting wool, right? Is that the thing to do? Let's look at... Let's look at our farm. Because we could say... We turn all of our wool thread into cloth. Aside from, you know, the little bits that are needed for, for sutures and whatnot. But we'll have, we'll have infinite stoat hair thread forever for that. Uh, so we could have our shear job, which is a work order here, and have that check against... Frequency at a condition, yeah. So we would check against... Um, can I just say cloth items? Yeah, cloth. Of type wool. Amount of hair wool cloth at most a thousand. Right? So this means we will only shear animals when we go below a thousand wool cloth. 
and we will turn all of that into cloth. There will be no wool thread sitting around because we're just going to, that'll just, you know, use until there's none left. I think that's fine. And then we are manually harvesting our silk from our, from our beast farm. And you, this one also has the same thing. Do I, do I keep them both going? I'm almost tempted to, we'll just remove this one. We don't need, we don't need two. We don't need two. And then in theory, this is gonna like stop, stop triggering itself. Probably once it's done with this next one. Some migrants have arrived. Any bets on how many migrants we get? Where are they? Here you are. Hello. Ashtesh. Craft Dwarf. Novice everything. It's great when everyone gets along. I agree. And then who are you? Reg. People should just listen to what I have to say. Okay, Reg. There's three. Here's, here's uh, Rega's uh, <laughs> um, spouse. Uh, I, Teb, I feel just fine. Here's five. Kel, it's my mess. Six. Indoc, death, I feel very uneasy. Where are you seeing death? Oh well. Ulet, one must always carefully consider the correct course of action. Is that seven? Eight. We're we're getting there. Legendary stone crafter. Holy cow! Focused. A person without emotional needs has come to our fortress, and they're a legendary stone crafter. And you've also you've created a uh, an artifact. Even interesting. I like you. Dabbling everything else, but you're cool. So that person had a strange mood somewhere else. And is now a legendary stone crafter. Is that all we're getting? Okay. We're back up to 52. <laughs> Which is where we were right before a ghost let out a beast. Uh, but that's cool. We got some we got some new people. New blood. Uh, and hopefully our this situation evens itself out. Yeah, they're removing removing our farmer's workshop. And we're just gonna be making dimple die forever. I guess probably not forever forever, but once we have every we're, we want to die all of our clock. Yeah, so you're just not gonna... We're gonna stop shearing. We're gonna stop shearing until we run out of... Run out of wool. We're gone below a thousand wool. Jeez. We've been made a county for the twelfth time. Mayor wants breastplate. Didn't I make a breastplate? Do you want another breastplate? You want another breastplate? Okay. A snowstorm has come. Hooray. Now. Everything is still right where I left it. None of you have done anything. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> 
Forgotten beast meat. 168 forgotten beast meat. Oh my god. I think they're cat meat. Oh dear. Llama tripe. Prepared dog brain. And yeah, I don't see any dimple dye in there yet. Of course, there's just still so many things lying around. But now, hopefully, so we're we're stopping our cloth production, at least for wool. Uh, silk is. I mean, it's just gonna keep going, right? I want to be able to organize this. Um, oh, we can... We're not getting microcline. I'm not going to make more right microcline blocks. We're making leadstone blocks now. And salt blocks. Uh, weave thread into silk. There you are. So yeah, this will stop when we have a thousand cloth. And then there's also the, there's a dye thread and there's a dye claw. Dye cloth. Just goes as long as we have dye. And then there's a dye thread somewhere. Yeah, here you are. As long as we have dye. Okay, that's fine. And I'm not going to make more clothes because apparently we just have enough clothes for everybody at the moment. And we'll just have a nice big stack of dyed wool and silk ready for when we want to make more clothing. And then we refill back up to that level. That's all. That's what we're going to do now. It's going to be a bit before we, you know, ground all of our dimple cups. That's all this one is doing. Yeah, we're just doing that forever. This is for paper crops, this is for whip mines, and this is for... This is also for... Except... It's giving two dimple cups? That's not right. That's not right. You want to take from dimple cups and from the bags and from furniture. And then give... Well, you'll give to wherever. So that's what this one is set up as. Yeah. Okay. How's our bag situation? We have bags. Some of these are seed bags. Some of these shouldn't be in here. Nighty night. Have a good one. Uh, see you. See you Saturday, probably, or Monday, if not. Uh, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry that we didn't get much more action today. I'm seriously expecting goblins to start showing up any second now. We'll see what happens. Uh, yes. I love I do really like the monocle. Zetan Arum Thor, human mercenary wasting zombie. Okay. Uh You're, yeah, okay. You're taking the wood. Dungeon Master taken by a Feymood. Yeah. Go, Doc. What are you gonna, what are you gonna claim?
<laughs> Cancels eat, taken by Fey Mood. I know that feeling. Stoneworkers Workshop. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. I was at plant cloth. Yeah, I guess we should just have a little bit of plant cloth on hand for strange moods. I... It's weird to me, but I guess people want it every once in a while. <laughs> the carving in here is going to be a little, a little slow. Dodoc, what you working on? You find a bunch of geckos or snakes, that means Sotek has blessed you. Oh. I haven't seen... I have not seen gecko or snake people. In-game or out, I guess. Leather. Fortress have been so happy, we haven't even, like... There's... There's nothing for our dungeon master to do. <laughs> so tech hates me? Oh, that's probably not good, is it? Is so tech one of those ones where, like, the best you can hope for is a quick death? Do I, do I really want to be blessed? You took a roundabout way there. Sure is grabbing a lot of stuff. There you go. Works furiously. Yeah, that was quite a bit. Cool. Cool. So Tick is a provider of snakes and snake accessories. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. Need dimple cup spawn. That's fine. That's all fine. They're working on it. And you see, like all this. All of these things should be placed people placed somewhere. My god. How how is it that there's this much stuff just sitting here on a millstone? Should not be possible. Mm, how is this is going? Come on. Come on. Do I increase the priority? Or let's tell our let's tell our door our miners to focus on mining for a minute. We are weaving thread into silk, that's for sure. That convince you? Don't know of anything that would prevent them. You need to socialize. You are eating, you are drinking. You're all just up here in the. Dodok has made a diorite crown. Excellent. Excellent. Let's put that away. Here. Slowly filling up our our vault here. Uh, crown was it? So that's gonna be at its own thing. Crown. 
was me, Diorite. Okay. I also want to make more rock salt pedestals, don't I? Ground. Encrusted uh, with rectangular diorite cabochons, oval ca claystone cabochons, and circled with bands of cave spider silk, copper, and black cap. Object is adorned with hanging rings of lavender jade menaces with spikes of pigtail and brown jasper. On the item is an image of a python man in cougar leather. Does that count? It's a python man. And it was a dwarf who did it. I don't. Does it? Does that count? Is that blessing me? Uh, I want to do more display cases. Great news, you are probably blessed. Excellent. I will take probably. Um, want edit filter. I want rock salt. Pack them in here. There's band. Okay, whatever. Unless the Python man begins to commit crimes. Well, it's an engraving on a on a crown. So I hope it doesn't start doing anything. That's a museum. Um, I don't know how much more rock salt do we have. Perhaps this is a prophecy of Sotex coming. That could be. Stones, stones. We got a bunch of mudstone. Oh, we got. Oh, except a bunch of that's going to be in the road, right? Yeah, it counts. Hmm. Only way to be sure is to spill blood in Sotek's name, especially Rat Folk. Hmm. Well, I think we have Rat Folk. I am worried about uh, how many there might be, though. I'm gonna say uh, pedestal. Let's do rock pedestal. I'm gonna say make it out of rock salt. Yeah, we have a rock salt. Okay. I'm gonna see if we can find more rock salt than mine. It's like, what's all this? this? Is all mudstone? Here's rock salt. Do I do I quarry out of our? What about up here? This is all rock salt. Here we go. Quarry out some. Except I want this to be like lower priority than the tunnels downstairs, of course. We can get some rocks out of all this, I'm sure. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So they're working on it slowly. Clearly, they can.
Everyone is sparring. Probably good. I assume... I assume everyone has their stuff. Yeah. Asin needs... Oh, do we need quivers? We have so much leather. I'm gonna... Okay, let's do quiver. Backpack. And water skin. And we'll do like... 20 of each. Definitely want to make sure we have a bunch of those. You all sparring, individual combat drill. Master organizer. Nice. She's been with us for quite a while, hasn't she? We gave her her one woman army nickname like several in game years ago. I had a sparring session. I'm very pleased. Legendary Fighter, Legendary Axe Dwarf, Observer, Discipline, Shield User, geez. Values Tranquility. See, how do they not... She's been here for so long, and she's made one passing acquaintance. Is she just... is she training too much? What does her schedule look like these days? Uh, view monthly. So I did... hmm... What did I end up doing? At least three training at all times. Yeah, that might be a little intense for how good they are at this point. No time for social interactions, only training. I mean, that's probably what's happening. <laughs> now it's winter. I don't know that we get goblins in the winter. I don't know. I don't know. I might say train at least three. I'm also like about to turn this into a probably like a ten-person squad. So three training at once is probably not that bad for that. I don't know. I don't know. We also don't actually have a guard squad. The captain of the guard can have their own squad. They're for, like, keeping the peace, which we're fine with. We have Waterfall for that. Who's our grumpiest person? Ib. Our bookkeeper. Hey! Legend of Vile Force of Darkness, hooray! Okay. And <laughs> just immediately see, look, five, five thieves revealed as soon as they're on the map because our person is right here. Hilarious. Okay. Okay. Well then, let's get into siege posture. Um, actually, I might run into the restroom real quick, just because this might take a moment. But let's put. Uh, we're gonna station our melee people there. We're gonna put our our ranged people on the wall. And then I'm going to close this gate. So goblins will come in and in here, and then this will be closed. That means they have to come down. And I want them to not get this far, so we'll close this one. And then I'm going to leave this one closed because our shotgun hasn't been reloaded yet. Um, and we can, so let's, tr we're going to try our menagerie. I'm going to leave this gate open. I'm going to close 
the doors that don't have beasts. So I'm going to open this one and this one. Do I do two at once? Do I? I mean, it's all locked otherwise. I think that's fine. Uh, and we lock this one. There's only those are the only two they can go through. Um, and I'm gonna lock all of these except for the ones, except for the relevant ones, obviously. This one, this one. These stay locked. So they don't, you know, like go back down in or something. Okay. So then that's that's that. So then they'll want to come up and then up. No, oh, I never linked that. That's fine. <laughs> They'll come up here. And then that's fine. And then this we are also going to leave open. I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> I am excited. I hope something works. Uh, and then they can come up and look and up there. Yeah. Then this one is for that, so I'm going to lock this one so they can't go back down it. And that should be a whole bunch of lever pulls. <laughs> it should be fine. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's let's blend some goblins. I'm wondering how many we're gonna get. We already have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the thieves are just gonna go everywhere. Yeah, see, this is a that's a small group. It's not a huge, not a huge one. Okay, that got closed. Oh, look how fast you are. Holy cow. You really want in there, don't you? Me first! Me first! Are you... Yeah, okay. So that's, that's already closed. I don't know what you're... Okay. <laughs> you got hit, didn't you? Yeah, seriously injured. And you dropped your crossbow. Okay. Do we get a combat log for... Who are you? Nako. How you doing, Nako? Ashen Minecart strikes the goblin. Slams into an obstacle. Stands up. <laughs> Minecart strikes the goblin. Artery's been opened. Gives into pain. Slams into an obstacle. Hit by a minecart. Slams into an obstacle. Hit by a minecart. Artery's been opened. <laughs> it works! Uh, the other question was, what happens to the minecarts? Yeah, so the when I, I think when a minecart hits a thing, it kind of it gets dislodged, right? And then okay, so yeah, you can see there's two here, so now they're being kind of weird. But now, yeah, and you're gonna have to get out of there. How are you gonna get out? You're dead. Perfect. What about the rest? Has anyone? <laughs> Has anyone else made it in here? Yeah, see, look at that. So now, so now some of these aren't gonna work until they're reset. Um, oh, we we need to we need to activate our alert. That's gonna be important so that people don't try to come in here to reset those minecarts mid siege. Um, but here's you. You probably and like people are gonna be hit by arrows by the time they even get 
inside. Yeah, there they go. Go on. You're just shooting from up there. That's cool. Okay. So now, yeah, they're going for the blender. I'm sure the blender is a shorter, shorter path. What you doing? Injured, injured, seriously injured, unconscious. I like it. And what about you? Do you want you want out? Are you leaving already? <laughs> Too much? I mean, it still says siege. Um. Oh, you made it further. You almost made it. <laughs> you almost got there. <laughs> I I like this. Uh, okay. So then the rest of them. I mean, it does still say siege, but I don't see anyone else in here. I'm gonna go ahead and door taken by invaders. Retake door to forbid it. Huh. I've never seen that before. I'm not allowed to lock that door because invaders have gotten through it. They can't do anything about my my bridges, though. Um. And then the rest have left. Is that right? We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Who's... Who's left? Are they all down here? They're all down here. Okay. Um... In that case... And then our soldiers can come down from here, right? Yeah, so it's really easy for us to get in there, even. I'm going to turn off the minecarts. And then once they're done spinning, we go in and finish them off with axes. How about that? And now there's no escaping. Minecarts are off. Oh, here they come. Uh, you, I'm just going to give a kill order on one, two, three, four. Right? There was just four of them. So yeah, now they're going to, now they're going to try to come up. And we just, we, yeah. <laughs> Clean them up. There's two more. You're not done yet. What oh, did you get? Did you get injured? No. You're just resting. Dead. Cool. I think that's a successful goblin blending. I think... I think we did good there. Uh, clear civilian alert. Let's reset our... Our levers and such. We're gonna pull this... Um... Keep that locked for now. And then, yeah. Uh, dwarves are going to come in here and reset all of those minecarts. Cool! I like this setup. I think that's rather cool. As far as a way to just kind of soften up some goblins before you engage with them in melee. This is something you could do in a very early fortress. This does, I mean, this exact setup um, does not use a lot of power. Um, there's there's improvements you could use. Yeah, like how it uses science. Yeah. Killing the goblins with science. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna put them all back. And it's gonna be ready for the next, the next wave. Um, one thing you could do, if you had more power, 
And I had even thought of this before. I thought of this, you know, between streams. But we're we're limited with we're limited by power here. Or rather, I am limiting us on power because I don't want to fill the whole surface with windmills. And our uh, what you might call it, our river freezes for so long. Otherwise, I just put w uh, water wheels everywhere. But um, it only works sometimes. So anyway, if you were to put in more rollers. Like, let's say you had rollers going all the way across the straights, and then you could do, you know, a one-tile roller going this way and a roll one-tile roller going this way. Realistically, you just you just need four, right? You do a long one like this, and then a turn, and then a long one, and then a turn. And I think... I think they would still transfer power to each other. I don't know that for sure though. You might have to be you might have to be particular about which end you put the gear assembly on. I don't know. It would it would take a little bit of fiddling. Long shot is that if a goblin gets hit by a minecart and the minecart ends up on a roller again, it will keep going. So the only reason these are stopping is because we only have the one column of rollers. If this if these tracks were fully rollered, just like rollers on the whole track, you'd have, they'd just be ping-ponging all around and every time they get knocked off a track, they're just on a different track and they keep going. And then when we turn it off, the dwarves will come in and, you know, put them back in their proper place. But while goblins are in there, it would just be a complete madhouse. And you would use a little bit of power. Um, rollers use two power per tile. I believe. So if you do something like this, where you have one, two, three, four, five, you know, a five wide hallway, say you do, say you do five, uh, five loops, so that'd be 10 times five, so that'd be 50 tiles, so that's 100 power. Which is, which is quite a bit. Our whole, like, our total power is like 300 right now. Yeah, 320. We're using most of that for... Um, for our waterfalls. Um, but like a, like a windmill gives you... 20? Depending on wind. We have, we have 16... Yeah, we have 16 windmills and 320 power. So you get 20 power. Like, as long as you have some wind... Oh my god, a bird! We haven't seen a bird in a while. When did that person die? I think that skeleton's been there for a while. Uh, do our do our guards want to take care of the... There's still, there's still all this garbage on the ground. I want to please take care of the Kia. There you go. I guess you don't need to patrol the wall anymore. Um, so yeah, if you had power, that would be a really easy trap to make for an early fortress. Uh, does someone want to just come and chop the head off of that Pia, please? And then you could just like fill the hallway after it with a bunch of weapon traps. I imagine. Oh, we're just we're in Kia season, aren't we? Fine. We're, I'm just gonna tell them to patrol the wall. It seemed to be useful last time this happened. We haven't had a we haven't had a Kia wave in quite a while. So that's interesting. <laughs> pop pop. Okay. Oh, look, we made a whole bunch of rock salt pedestals. We probably dug out that big space. Uh, yep, we're fighting Kias. We have a, are there a bunch of Kias here now. Uh, there's a 
bunch of crundles somewhere. You have three Kias. Again. Over here. Why? Injured, tired, injured. <laughs> Why are you down here? Picking up equipment, okay. Sure. I think our rangers are pretty good shots at this point. My master carpenter. Oh, you're our new one. Bad example. Legendary Markstorf. Legendary Markstorf. Novice Markstorf. And we even got uh, a Kia trap. Because of course. Uh, oh, I should... I should lower this bridge so that we can take out the trash. That's a thing too. Because, yeah, I guess it would probably be faster to take out the trash to the surface than the other way around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flop these bridges so our traders can get in if they show up. doing down here? Uh, this all got dug very quickly. Cool. Did we already use all of our, our rock salt? Oh, there's a little bit left. Okay. And then we need more. More pedestals. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. Do another twenty. And we can dig out more of this space. Why not? I'm not using it for anything. And then oh. still waiting. Still waiting. They're so close. They just need to finish. They just need to finish. And there's two more bees sitting there waiting for us. eye on what's going on these still later there's still so many things to move around are we good on <laughs> an entire box just full of bone stuff I mean, the main, the main struggle is just it filling all of our workshops and taking so much of our time to put it where it belongs. We're just on make bone crafts on repeat, which is fine, but geez. I wanted to check our library. We've been buying books. We have 55 books. Written content. Aqua Regia, my love. The laboratory, a new approach, possibilities of solutions. Uh, victory by the retort. <laughs> the distillation book. Our chemist has been going nuts. Crucible within reason. Evaporation for the beginning pr practitioner. Vials, problems, and solutions. Foundations of combustion. That's a good one. There's just a stack of books here. Written portion gives them entitled Discourse on Wind Patterns. 
be doing? Discuss embryological development. Interesting. That's rather specific. They're, <laughs> they're shouting about embryo development halfway across the library. Something tells me dwarven libraries are not quiet. Just a hunch. Falling giant Kia cage. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Oh, do we not have... Oh, I don't have... Wheelbarrows in here. Mm -hmm. Curious why this part isn't happening. They tried. <laughs> They're trying. You're grabbing... You have the water skin. Okay. A beast! Isnest ostest ozeb. An enormous hairy crab has a pair of squat antennae and undulates rhythmically. Clear hair is long and shaggy. But where it's deadly blood? Where are you? You are also Cave 2. Cave 2 has been very productive for us. Um. Oh, you're gonna kill a whole bunch of, uh, Rutherers? Yeah. Let's see if you can. Can you survive? It's already... Oh, it came in with a couple of kills. A donkey, a cat, and a sow from Ceiling Mastered. Interesting. That doesn't always happen. A lot of them come in with zero kills. Okay. Well, it's seriously injured, but... The Depression of Seas. So probably not the most rugged forgotten beast, but it might still be worth grabbing. Especially for lack of other things. <laughs> certainly likes the brothers. I'm gonna wait for the rest of our tunnel to be dug. We're trying to kick people out of it again. Anyone working on it? No. You just you just need to be told. So close even. This one. I want Sodor. You are a hairy theropod with deadly dust. And what was this other one? This one's been here for a long time. Hairy slug. A flying hairy slug with deadly blood. But very flimsy. Hmm. It takes so long to right, walk all the way down there. Um. Oh, did you? What did you want? You didn't, whatever. We're making rock salt pedestals. Yeah, look at all that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this isn't actually an artifact. Someone just left it there. <laughs> a worn alpaca will cut. This item, this uh, object is showing somewhere. Yeah. Still have Kia's up here. I guess I stopped paying attention to that, didn't I? Uh, no, we look looks like we're fine. Just a bunch of crundles. And then we can take the bird corpse and just put it right there, and it will be done. Incredible. Eventually, someday. Like, there's still. Still so much garbage. This is all closed off, so I'm not surprised no one's going in there. Yeah. So technically they could come in there from, from our other entrance. We could get in there from here. I'm not surprised they're not trying to though. Okay. Oh look at our our ore. <laughs> oh that's what we could do. Uh our yeah. As we mine this out. This can be an ore stockpile. Because why not? Uh, surplus ore. So let's call this stone metallic ores of all kind. Well, even we can do, yeah, let's say all. No, no, no. We'll just say metal ores. And we'll say that it gives to the other ones. Yeah, and that'll just be a place for it all to go. And you get wheelbarrows. Perfect. Nice big open space for us. Even some of these copper, like that huge stack of uh, ammo has been moved too. I don't want to break this into a couple different chunks. We could use this space as storage, because this is this is just our, our barracks stairwell up to up to our gatehouse. And this is all just enclosed on its own now. What if we did that? What if we said... We wouldn't even really need... Yeah, it's just its own thing now. Um, so let's say we remove these. We'll even dig out that. And then this will just be stockpiles. Um, and I'll, I'll make them large. This will be for armor. This will be for weapons. Uh, 
This will be for ammo. And this will be for, or the trap components will stay here. Because this is by, yeah, because it's kind of by the entrance, kind of. Ideally, we'd put it like up here or something. But whatever, that's fine. We don't we don't use them that frequently that I need to optimize it that much. Uh, but we'll uh, just toss in a couple of wheelbarrows. Why not? And I don't think there was anything too specialized about this. It was just not taking trap components. Yeah. I'm going to remove. Yeah. Why not? I'll just reorganize all of that, have a lot more room. Should work out fine. Um needs rock salt, needs rock salt, needs rock salt. We're tell how many seeds we have with the thing. And we probably have a whole bunch of at crop dimple cups. Yeah, okay. We need to use our dimple cups. But that's happening. Okay. This didn't actually get a... This didn't have an actual work order associated with it. I just did the links and didn't actually do the rest of it. Okay. Um. Uh, we don't have general work orders, but just in case. Let's good fine, dimple die, paper crops, dimple cut. Male plants. And, you know, maybe we do want to do these in bigger stacks. And then what was this set up as? As long as we have. Oh, and we are capping our, our actual dimple die. Okay. Mobile plants, and then I also want to check. Die, dimple die. So we're going to 500 for that. Is that right? We have that much. Dimple die items. Dimple die items. What? Fine, whatever. Uh, bit of a work order. Let's just just go. It's linked to the dimple die stockpile, so it's just gonna just gonna work on it. Perfect. And the the bag stockpile never worked, did it? It should be taking from the furniture stockpile. Is it not bags? Uh, I guess we also have like silk and yarn. Probably plant cloth bags. 
Will that help? So it would be faster if they could just take bags from here, but you know. Are we fighting? We were fighting Kias. Okay, that's all. Cool. You know what? Might as well dig some more rock salt. Hooray! This got dug. Perfect. Okay, so this will be a quick thing, hopefully. Let's say rocks off blocks. And then we say some doors. Just for the sake of it. And then some cage traps. Is that crap? And if all those get done and we can link the bridge, then I think we can close the beastways kind of for good and not have to worry about clearing them out each time. And we have three more beasts to catch, but it'll probably be a next time thing. Because that'll put us at five. That'll, that would, If we could catch all three that are currently in the caves, that'd put us at five beasts. Trash has been taken care of. Is there are there Kia corpses in here? No. I assume these are goblins. Well, they went somewhere. Probably in here. It's just Monom got blown up. I assume that's one of the ones from the the blender. I'm also surprised that we've been okay on fuel this whole time. I've been really sparing with our blacksmithing jobs because we're not doing magma. I haven't been piping magma up because that would be a real pain with our power struggles. Um, but so far it hasn't been an issue. Yeah, look, okay. Well, those are, those are spikes. Do those count as... Oh, duh. No. Not the trap components. But yeah, look, here's all our ammo. Look at all our ammo. We should melt down the silver arrows and turn them into silver bolts. Because you can't use an arrow in a crossbow. Do I make a bigger stockpile for this? I mean, it feels... It feels silly. But it's just because I don't want it to have... bins. to happen though. I guess this is locked. That's probably a problem. This is all clay stone. I'm just gonna re-enter it. 
retracting bridge. It says we have enough. And where does where does claystone come from? Do I need to <laughs> find more? There's coal there even, wow. All rock salt. Boxite. Look at this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So yeah, let's do another twenty. Why not? Fifteen. Lamp. Look at all the bedrooms. Look at all the bedrooms. They got done. The bedrooms are done. Excellent. We just have we just have a bunch of bedrooms. We can we can house a whole bunch of people in our fortress now when we're just waiting for them to show up and take care of our all of our our chores. There's a bunch of calonite everywhere. That's what I should do. All of this I want moved too. There's claystone. Here's where claystone comes from. All this, yeah, okay. Let's just chop all this down. Let's do that. Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, no one really comes through here much. But obviously that's a whole lot of line of sight, so we kind of want to limit it for whoever's walking by. Um, let's use some of our mudstone here. Someday we should deal with our our wolf man. Not today. No, can't do it yet. This is getting there. Still needing the. Yeah, the... <laughs> that's gonna take a minute. Oh, that's fine. Still all patrolling? Oh, you can stop patrolling now. And then this is just not doing anything. Suspended? Why? No. Figure it out, please. Look at all this, and we're making bags, we're making bins. Whoa. I have to say, this is the most functional fortress I have ever made. Like, everything could go completely awry five seconds from now, and this would still be my best fortress. I don't, I don't say that lightly. Um, okay, so there's surplus ore, but there's also, like, all that other stuff. Uh, let's say... Um, all the economic stone. 
I don't think we have clay. I don't think we have clay at all here. Um, junk stone will stay down there because we're using it. But like, yeah, the, the gypsum and the kalanite and the, the fuel we put up here. And then it will give to that. We're not even using our kalanite. We should, should we do that? Should we be making clay stuff? Do we care? Do we have the, I mean, we have the, the kalanite to be making a whole bunch of porcelain. But do we want to burn through our fuel to be making porcelain? Cause that's a craft when we have, we're fine on crafts. We can make statues. We can't make bone statues, can we? <laughs> Is there anything else we can use all this bone for? Uh, bone. Bolt, bracelet, craft, crown, earring, figuring, gauntlet, greaves. Nope. Large bone gem. The heck is a bone gem? That would collapse things. Those go into a, a bin, right? Also decorate things with bone. I think bone statues are normally called skeletons. <laughs> no, it's a statue. <laughs> Uh, and then Tobol. Let's make sure Tobol gets what he needs. And of course, you're canceling something from way down there. That's fine. Um, let's let's make sure that this lever gets a connection here. Uh, this is going to be wave three lower. In these ones. I don't know if that's consistent with what I've been naming things before, but uh, I don't care. I'll link it here. And that's a priority. And you are installing a thing. You are installing a thing. So now it's just... Yeah. Yeah! So your local necromancer recommends this heartily. Yeah, probably. Bespoke artisanal skeletal statues. What, it looks like your brother? No. No, it's a statue. I made this myself. Okay, so we're, we're good. We're just waiting on that door and that link. And then, and then I think our beast ways are good, aside from, you know, mining through that and then running. But we've been okay with that so far. This way you can always remember him, yeah. A commemorative skeletal statue. Don't ask where it came from. <laughs> Until your last breath and beyond, yes. And we're saving again. Now it's spring! Do you think we're gonna get more goblins? I might... I might just say we're done. But I'm curious if any show up. Uh, okay. A human just died. The fact that it happened the frame after a season, after a year change even? A ram and a human. I think... Were you, were you actually... No. There's no combat log. This human just fell over and died from old age. Right then and there. So that's how that works. I don't even know how old you were. Oh man. Oh, and you had like all this named stuff? And you just fell over dead, didn't you? Look at this. A named sword. A named hammer. A named shield. A named cape. And a corpse. All just lying on the ground for us to take. I wonder if he gets buried. Where did where did his corpse go? <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm curious. These are all. 
not all used, quite a few. What was the name? Whoops. Uh, Lurshi. There's Udib. Here, Lurshi. Okay. Yeah, we, we're gonna bury him. That's cool. Yeah. Rest in peace. Thank you for the gear. The child. Um, yeah. Uh, we're... Cool. I think... I think we're gonna wrap up here. So that leaves us in a really good spot. Now we're down to 51. Hilarious. Do we want fewer creatures? Maybe we just... Maybe we have fewer creatures. Kobo Weaver has created Gugash Agrad, a pigtail rope. Neat. Thank you. Look! That's a... That's a big museum. There's something there, there's something there, there's something there. The pigtail rope. Okay. Why not? Uh, what would that be? Is that a tool? from game are you okay yeah does this not collapse weird uh jugs hives minecarts wheelbarrows book bindings bookcases pedestals not ropes where is a rope under chains <laughs> there you are okay cool I think we're good here I think that's uh, that's calm enough for now We had a successful test of our goblin blender. We caught a new beast for our menagerie and nothing went wrong. That second part is the part that I'm excited about. <laughs> um, we dug down our beast ways down to the very bottom of cave three. So there's gonna be two more beasts that we can catch that way. I'm pretty sure we'll have to be careful to kind of separate them out, do them one at a time. But we can do that with our doors. And then, yeah, we can catch the one in cave two. And then we'll be at five. And then we're just waiting for stuff to show up. And then I'm curious, um, the other thing that we can do once we've filled our menagerie, we can let more beasts in and then like hit them 1v1. Like if, if there's one beast in our menagerie that we're not as keen on, we can be like, oh, I want 
the new one to fight this old one and we can just put them in the same cage and whichever one wins is the one that stays and then and then we'll be fine from there so that'll be cool um i am excited to try tossing goblins into the menagerie maybe we'll block off the uh the blender trap next time so that no one can get in there i think that's going to be the one that they prefer to do uh just because the route is probably shorter maybe uh, we'll see uh, but we can close each of those off individually so we can do whatever the heck we want there and then yeah uh we're gonna get some more dwarves i'm expecting some sizable migrant waves hopefully and then maybe we'll end up with a whole bunch more goblins showing up um, i'm gonna make sure that i i know that i messed with the siege caps at some point so i'm gonna look up what those defaults are and probably just revert those to their defaults um, or i'll do that off stream anyway um this has been unshouter today's episode was brought to you without sponsors by rain thank you rain i love rain it was kind of unseasonably wet this week um july is usually when it's really really dry here but we had we had a little bit of rain this week which is really refreshing and nice i do like the rain anyway come by on saturday and we're gonna be cranking away on aliens dark descent i want to beat that game and then come back monday we'll have to be doing more dwarf fortress hooray um click the buttons you know what to do and i hope you have a good weekend and hope you stay kind. <laughs>